What's up, everyone? We're gonna do a little something different this time. So, I've been thinking about my stream and how it's going lately. Baldur's Gate kind of fell off a little bit. And by a little bit, I mean a fucking lot. I haven't been playing that for like four months now. I was gonna do it today, but then I was also thinking like, uploading a video once a week has got to be the least effort that I can put forward for my channel. And if I really want to get a real envisionment uh, or like idea of what I was like, what I was doing, who I was hanging out with, uh, biography, things like that, this should help me remember that stuff and like point it out to my family and friends. So today, what we're going to do is something a little bit different. I'm going to be looking at some wacky news articles. I'm going to put the story up on the screen for you, and we're going to look at it. So this is a story right here, and it's a pretty wild one. Police say a pair took a New York City subway train on a joyride and crashed it. They have arrested one teen, but it was a pair of them. Police say they have arrested one of the young people who took an empty New York City subway train on a brief joyride before they crashed it and fled. September 18th, 2024, 1247. That was today. They are looking for a male companion they believe was also pictured on the train. Surveillance photos released by the New York Police Department on Tuesday show one person dressed all in pink, including a pink shower cap, and another in a blue tank top. This is them right here. What an outfit to go rob a train. These photos are so blurry. No wonder they can't find the guy. Those hoop earrings are massive. They cannot have planned this. Like, she had a shower cap on, and he's got just this, just a throw on undershirt here. It feels like these guys just like happened upon this train and then just took it for fun. It wasn't like a complete planned out thing. Like they didn't go, they weren't at home like, hey, this, we've been checking out this train for a while, the subway train. And uh, it's, it's unguarded most nights. We should go hit that up. I don't think anyone did that. Police arrested the 17 year old girl Wednesday around noon, they have charged her with criminal mischief and reckless endangerment. The pair boarded an unoccupied train parked at Briarwood subway station in Queens just after midnight on September 12th. And somehow got it running, police said in a news release. How, how, does anyone know how to get a subway train on? I'm, I'm assuming it's like just a key. So do these guys know how to hotwire? Or like what? Because it's not saying how they got into it. They just got into it. How lucky must you be to find like an unoccupied subway station that's like infrequent use enough that things would still be working? How? What? That's the whole news article. New York Police Department. Let's see if I can find anything else on this. 17 minutes ago. That's crazy. It was unclear how much damage the prank caused. It's a prank? It's a prank. The prank, bro. The God prank. Damn. Like, There's no other information on this. There's no, like, pictures or anything. They, just have goof. they had no fucking clue what they were Ugh. doing. Oh my God. Where, where'd my article go? It's gone. This is awful. This is unreadable. Listen to the article. The fuck? Why, why would I want to listen to the article? I want to read the article. Because it's an article and not a podcast. Seven minutes ago. They crashed it into another parked train and ran. That's some new information. So the train crashed 
into another train. They must have not understood how to stop it. So these two individuals, who may or may not be related, just one day walked towards the subway station, found one unoccupied, hotwired it, or found the key underneath the, the mirror flap or something, and they just took off and didn't know how to stop it, crashed into another train, and said, that was enough fun for me today. Let's get out of here, buddy. I don't understand how anyone can just do something like that. There's got to be some kind of conscious decision where your brain said, this is not a good idea. And then you deliberately, deliberately said back to it, I don't care. And did something like this. What the fuck is this? They look like adults. These don't, these don't look like 17-year-old children. They look like grown adults. She's got a shower cap and hoop earrings on. She's ready to go to bingo right now. Oh, blue and orange, that's not a good combo. Let's see if I can find one more article. Maybe they have some more information. Here's a little video. You just need your help in finding the man and woman they say stole an unoccupied train in Queens and crashed it, causing damage. Now, this happened on September 12th, a couple weeks ago, or just a few days ago, just after midnight, at the You can't see Station. any of his yeah, face. Any information about these individuals? You can kind of see their pictures here, a little fuzzy. He looks like a oh, ghost. Stoppers, tips. They're going to find her instantly. Well, I guess they already did, but like... <laughs> That one was not a tough case. The other guy, he could get away with this, probably. That was everything I wanted to talk about today. Just one thing. I'm going to try to do one thing per day. And, uh, yeah, hopefully I entertain some people from day to day. Cyberpunk 2770? Cyberpunk? 2077 is coming up for me. I'm going to try to stream that after I get done with Baldur's Gate. I swear, I swear we'll finish Baldur's Gate. I'm going to be there. You're going to be there. It's going to be great.